Hello, so we are back. And this time, I was doing a battery and I remember this device got a lot cheaper. I mean, remember how much uh, it was the license for one year? Probably like about $300. You know how much is now? 70 is the price of the battery. $70 dollars, dollars per year. You can believe that? And you can unlock how, how many batteries you want. No limit. So this is the best device for battery repairs, the NLBA analyzer. And I've been using this for a while, years. This is the best device from the world, hands down. And uh, it's not only battery repairs, but it's also about laptop repairs because there are some laptops on those days. If you don't have a working battery, the laptops are not working, they're coming on and you are not sure what is the problem. You know my videos. And uh, I, di I did have like dead laptops and uh, I have to fix the battery in order to diagnose and fix the laptop. Now let's go one more time for the software. So here we have a software. So what do we have here? We have a battery, a Lenovo battery. The software is just beautiful. You know what I mean? Uh, let me reset, clear all. And uh, you can read all at once or uh, you can read. Like, you remember how I fixed the battery? You let, uh, you let the program to read constantly and you can come with the power supply on the cells and you can follow here the voltage and uh, the data from the battery. Now, this battery you can see has uh, 257 cycles. Uh, the read capacity, compute health. The battery is not very charged. The cells are like 4.1 volts. Okay, nearly fully charged. But look at the health of the battery. It's like nearly new. So what reason have a battery, yeah, new condition to die, to get locked? Because that's, that's the issue. They, they are getting locked. If you don't charge the battery for a long time, the battery will get locked. So, uh, you know, despite the fact that's 257 cycles and we cannot say like it's like new, but still the health of the battery is like new. So what you can do more? Now I didn't use this fine battery pinout till uh, very soon. And uh, if you go here and let's say Lenovo, okay, Lenovo, and you have the par number, par number is the par number from the battery. Yeah? Let's have a look together. So the par number on this one is, uh, Part number SB10K. Let's type there SB10K, yeah? SB10K. Find pinout, and you can find the pinout straight away. Also, you can add the pinout to the database, which is beautiful. Okay? What you can do more? Well, apart from the fact you can read everything from this battery, you also, you can, uh, even if you have a dead battery, you can power on and actually push the, 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 push the voltage into the board uh, battery controller. So you can read it. So you can read the data. Then you have the charge tab, so you can ch charge the battery. Yeah. Very important tab. And check that the blue one, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it. The blue one is the current. You see the current is going up, so this battery is charging fine. Then what you can do more discharge, start discharging and discharge the battery. I don't know why you will want something like that, but let's say yeah, you want to discharge the battery. And you can see you have the voltage, you have the current, uh, is discharging. Good. Then you have calibrate, so you have the capacity before and you have, you have the capacity after, yeah? And you can see how the calibration perform. Then you have cell checks, so you can uh, read the battery configuration and check the cells you are good or not. Then you have this, which I don't know what it is. I never use it. Then you have test. Test is if you send the battery like over the planes, probably they will uh, ask you for, uh, you know, a report. Let's try this. Run test. 
let's run a quick test and uh, okay save the pdf rep report you can see here save it let's save it uh let me specify the directory one second one second desktop okay save it and it's here check here here and i can open the report and i have the test passed test and failed yeah so it passed the test charging discharging temperature health communication cycle count didn't pass because my battery has 257 cycle counts and the requirement is under 100 then you have the capacity design uh, voltage and the other things chemistry then you have yeah I, I don't know if you can spot this is not a lithium battery this is a lithium polymer battery you, then you can have the signature and test engineer and uh, the lab uh, address and all the stuff okay you can see the date of the report this is quite beautiful this report now can i pass this report so i can uh, send the battery over the plane yeah you can you have a tab let me switch in a case let's say you replace the cells you have on the on the reset tab i believe reset yeah you have here you can change the date you can check the cycles yeah if you let's say i fix this battery and i want to know how many cycles it will work till it will die again right so i'm resetting the cycles and i can count i can see uh, how long that battery it will go then you have the unlock here is the unlock area where actually you can unlock a locked battery also you can read the eprom you can write the eprom you can do a lot of things so what do we have more that's all and that's all what you, what do you have there one second on the test no reset uh no this guy which is running this business with the analyzer is a proper genuine guy and i spoke with him uh, over the time uh you have remote reset so if you go on some troubles you know with some batteries and you have problems you can uh, he can unlock the battery remotely i did have problems and he helped me so that's the analyzer that's what he's doing the biggest thing is actually the reset you actually can reset uh, a locked battery now if you are looking to buy this device then this is the website okay this one Raw battery analyzer and indeed this is a pro tool i agree with that look that's my video chip reset and more then you have products and check here yeah laptop battery chip reset license 10 years 699 dollars which is about 550 pound and that's very cheap i mean it's one battery per year the price of one battery per year that's what you pay and you can unlock and repair how many batteries you want compare with before you remember before it was one year like a little bit over 300 dollars so now it's a lot cheaper it's a lot cheaper one thing about this let's say you want to buy it okay 10 years license where you can unlimited batteries for 10 years you have the supported chip list unlimited batteries uh let's say you wanted to buy it yeah buy it now okay buy it now here you have a coupon code and that's very important because you get ten dollars discount electronics repair school okay and you press apply coupon and you just got ten dollars discount and that's how you can buy me a good beer or a good coffee okay then obviously check out as guess yeah let's see now you remember what i told you a while ago i will always trust a website they have paypal payment yeah I mean, PayPal saved me so many times from different scams. Uh, I don't trust to pay with my card nowhere. I'm paying only with PayPal. 
because they have the, the buyer protection program. So let's check our battery. Now you remember I made the before videos and people said, yes, yeah, sorry, but I can buy a brand new battery with like 15, 20 pounds. Uh, you know, maybe, yeah, but I work on the show for 10 years. We usually, we are lucky if that, if a new brand new battery, that cheap one, it, it will not come back in the three months period. So actually I trust a lot more fixing a old battery than buying a new one. I mean, let's be honest, you get what you pay for. Then the, you have, you have the expensive batteries and you have the MacBook batteries and yeah. And yeah, it's charging fine, 1.7 amps, you can see. Perfect, perfect. And you have the charging light there, everything is perfect. So the battery is working. But tell me one reason why this battery should go on the trash when the health of the battery is like 100%. Why? Because it has 256 cycles? That doesn't mean the battery is dead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll stop now. You'll have a link on the description if you're looking to buy. I'll say thank you for watching. I guess subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.